Yes. A gorilla is gonna fucking, a gorilla is gonna fucking grab you. To, <laughs> he's just gonna mangle you. D dude, you live in the middle of Wisconsin. Yeah. Where is there an ocean? Wait, yeah. Where are you getting bass? If I give you ten thousand dollars, would you eat my placenta? Everybody, welcome back to You Should Know Podcast, episode 61. Round of applause, please. Oh, oh, I love that. I love that. You know what I don't love? Last episode, I talked about my barber being flaky on me. Look at me now. Look at me. I look like, like a Brillo pad. And he, he DM'd me, and he was like, sorry, Peyton, I got family. Sorry you don't know about that. Hurt me a little bit, but guys, I do have a family. It's the You Should Know family. Welcome back to episode 61 of the You Should Know podcast. If you haven't already, look what you said, subscribe button is it pressed? You're wrong. If you look even more below that, see that conversation is fulfilled with your name. Guess what? Even more wrong. Go ahead and fill that out. We have some big announcements. Episode 61 isn't just a regular episode. No, 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 no. We'll talk about it a little more once we get co host Cam on the set. This is the first episode with two full-time You Should Know podcast members. We'll talk about that a little more, but a round of applause, please, for two full-time You Should Know podcast members. Round of applause. <laughs> also, live show June 30th, Dallas, Texas, Southside Music Hall. We have a few tickets left. Our touring agent is Texas saying... The You Should Know podcast family is one of the best fan bases I've ever seen in my years of being a touring agent. So shout out to you guys. We love you so much. June 30th, Dallas, Texas, Southside Music Hall is going to be an absolute movie of an eye. And the after party is getting solidified. Now, also an announcement. Our second live show is pretty much finalized. Round of applause, please, for the second live show. Almost be finalized. It's so exciting. We can't say exactly where or when yet until we sign, put pen to paper, ink it, and then we will let you know, of course, first. Obviously, Koala Club is going to know first. Link in the bio if you want to join that. If you want to join the Discord, link in the bio. Guys, thank you so much for coming every single week, leaving your comments in the YouTubes, leaving your reviews in the Spotify's, leaving your funny jokes in the Discord, and all the love in the Patreon. Follow us both on Instagram. Everything's going to be linked in the description below. I love you so much. Now, on. To the rest of the episode. Friends, family, and loved ones, I bet you haven't purchased a Father's Day gift, have you? Not to fear, the leaders in Below the Waist Grooming are here. I'm talking about our friends at Manscaped. They're saving the day yet again with the total package for the father figure in your life this year. It's time to upgrade his game from waist to face with this exclusive offer. Have him join the 8 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped and get 20% off plus free shipping with the code PSH at manscaped.com. Let's start with the ultimate Father's Day MVP, the performance package 4.0. I'm telling you, I know it's hard to shop for your father. You know, I've never really got my dad a Father's Day gift until we started partnering with Manscaped. Now, it's the easiest gift in the world and you know he's going to love it. So... Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code PSH at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code PSH. Make this Father's Day one he won't forget with Manscaped. Now I'm telling you, it's hard to get a Father's Day gift, so get this for your dad. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. Announcement! Announcement! Cam's big announcement! 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 Cam's big announcement! Cam, Cam has an announcement. Cam, Cam's got an announcement. Cam, Cam's got an announcement. Y'all can't talk to me no more if I'm singing like that. We got co-host Cam forever in the studio. You heard what he said. Stop playing on God. But basically... <laughs> So what had happened was Tell them. Oh God. Tell so em. uh <laughs> on Gang in Them's grave. Um on four in them's lineage. Big slat slime ball. <laughs> Police come through. Freeze! 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 Get on the ground! That wasn't I was it was a finger. I wasn't holding anything. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're back. Episode 61. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, I just said episode 61. That's you like, had a problem with that's that. 611, that's 611. That's 6,111. My, 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 my mic dead. stand's flaccid. Uh, it's big, though. It's a big flaccid. What are... We, we're, we've, 
We've been on for six, five minutes max. And I'm talking about it's a big flaccid. What is happening? Anyway, guys, hey, we're going to cut straight to it. It's a shower, not a grower. I... <laughs> <laughs> That's a real thing. That's a, are you? You shouldn't joke with it. What are you doing, though? Sorry, go. What are you doing, though? All right. So. <laughs> yay! 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 Hey, can I speak, asshole? Okay, here we go. So, we're going to get straight to it, guys. To Today is a very, um, it's a very, all right, bro. I can't even. Shh. Shh. Shush. Shh. Okay. He's already crying. This this shows his excitement. He is already crying for what I'm about to say. Basically, long story short, getting straight into it, guys. Your boy is full-time YSK now. Woo! Unbelievable. We've been grinding with crazy-ass schedules for the last almost calendar year. Legit, if you think no, about it. It's like, been a year. Like, May to May. I mean, it, it obviously has run episode 61, yeah. but I'm saying, like... Well, well, shit, yeah. <laughs> Over a year, actually. Over a year. <laughs> it's been, hell, it's been about almost a year and a quarter. <laughs> All right. <laughs> carry, the, carry the three. It's nine, it's, yeah, about Dude, almost a year. And a, almost a year and a quarter. No, your mic stand sucks. Mine's great because it knows that I'm the guy. Anyway, before we get into all the funnies and the stories and the crazy ass experiences from this past week, um, I want to say first off, thank you so so much to the fan base, to the family, to you should know fam all around the world. Thank you, every single one of you, because y'all have made it. A reality for two best friends to give y'all and support y'all with an hour of absolute random funniness, happiness, bringing content yes. every week. Yes. So, my second shout out and thank you goes to my wife and family yes. for supporting me and just being behind me, being my rock and foundation and all that stuff this whole time. They've all, uh, they've had their questions, but they've always been behind me, so... Thank you, uh, parents, friends, and of course, Olivia. Love you so much. Third and final, thank you before swinging out the sobby stuff. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you to Little Elm High School. I told you last week that I was a teacher, and it is over now. Quick disclaimer, it is not because any of my, st any of my students, it's not because any of the admin, it's not because anything with the job. This is just an unbelievable dream come true, and it's one of those things, like, you just got to take it. So... And it's not like, oh, I got to take it because it could be. No, I, I want to take it. I want to be here. So I am here. With all that being said, wrap it up. Uh, the school year's over. Summer is officially started. And your boy is full-time YSK to the end. Yes, sir. I want to say, I'll follow up your thank you. Thank you to Cam's wife and his family for allowing, uh, his, for uh, trusting him and me to, uh, to uh, ooh, you know, to build this company and to, and to entertain and touch the lives of millions of people across the world on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So thank you to the, to the Kennedy family. And I want to say thank you to the You Should Know family for at the very beginning, the first time co-host Cam ever made an appearance of getting in my throat and being like, he has to be there every single week. And trust me, getting in my throat. They're in my throat. <laughs> That's not what she said, but we'll, we'll fly with it. That's a getting in my throat. It was a very weird way you worded that. <laughs> thank it you, sounded like you said, thank you for allowing Cam to be in my throat every week. And I was like, yo, what is, what are you saying? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so, and so, yes, for, for, for really pushing co-host Cam to be full-time uh, or to even be on the podcast. And so now he's full-time. It's like a dream come true. Two best friends get to do this for a living. It's, it's sit here and touch the lives of millions of people. So thank you. And also thank you to co-host Cam for busting his ass for over a year <sighs> and juggling a, such a hectic schedule. And I, you know, I push him hard but I do because I know he's capable of the the world, and so sometimes it might not seem like I'm grace graceful and, and showing grace of his schedule. But I've always been appreciative, and I'm very appreciative of all the time and effort you have put in to this. And now, you, now it's our full time job. Shout out to the you should know family. Shout out! Woo! I have another shout out. I have another shout out. Okay, before we move on to the funnies, I have Terrible. a shout, shout out, out everybody. Oh God! To my brother. Preston Harden. Ah, oh, big shout out to Preston. One of the most talented people I know. He's an big actor, facts. a voice actor, a director, a producer. He is, I'm telling you, 10 times more talented than I will ever be. Definitely is. He just won an award. An award. For, and this is, I'm going to just read his uh, post. post. It yeah. says, yay, for the first time ever, True Vault Escapades, his audio drama, has won an award. We, he earned the Silver Award for the Here Now Palooza podcasting festival. 
Shout out to Preston Harden. Big P! Preston! If you want to if you want to listen to True Vault Escapades, it's going to be linked in the description below. It, I'm telling you, it is actually insane how yes. good it is. Very, so. very good. Shout out to very, Preston. Very good. I love you, buddy. Shout out, Preston. Now, how was your week, Kim? I know you got a lot going on. How was your week, Bubba? My, my, my week was good. It's not... You're, you're doing a lot of shaking. I don't mm -hmm. like a lot of movement. Mm -hmm. It reminds me... One of my one of my students used to shake my hand like... I was like... Just do it to me. He literally was like this. He's like, all right, see you, coach. I was like, I don't like that. At it's all. like I'm gyrating like at all. I don't like that. But um, no, it was oh it was actually gosh. it was actually a different. Yeah, you'd think we have a damn like a produce island here. I don't know. The first thing on my agenda being here full time is fuck is pest control. There's, There's so, so many, many damn flies here. Oh my god, it's insane. It's ridiculous. I was talking like loud to him. Garbage. Damn. And like I had my mouth open and a bug almost went in. Like yeah. that's no, how bad I, I it is. I literally said if that if that fly would have hit a hard left and went in your mouth, I swear to God I would have drove home. <laughs> We're not doing it. I'll come back tomorrow. But this week is different. I'm normally super happy, jolly, which I am. So don't preface that. Okay. But uh, it was kind of a, it was kind of a, not a low week, but it's you know those healthy goodbyes. It's yes. always hard. Yes. It's always yes. hard. Yes. I had to say goodbye to uh, amazing coaching staff that I was a part of this whole year. Uh, just amazing new friends that I made throughout the teaching experience, other teachers, uh, and then, of course, all my students. Mm -hmm. And they were, you know, they were upset about it too. I was upset, but they, it was really mature of them because every time I said it, they were all like, oh, screw you, you're lame, why are you leaving us? But then they were like, well, well where are you going? I was like, no, 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 I'm not leaving to go to a different school. I'm doing, you should know, full time. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, okay, well, that, that's all right. Yeah, that's you, fine. <laughs> you can do that. I, I love that. I'll, I'll, I'll continue to watch. So yes. it was it was a it was a different week. It was That's definitely good. super super high um, happies a lot of it, but of course the last couple of days they're always tough. But yeah, yeah. changes it's like, are always you know. Yeah, but I'm super excited. I know y'all are all gonna crush it in your next year wherever you are. If you were a senior and you graduated, or if you were an underclassman and you're going back, so enjoy your summer. Please be safe. You know that kind of reminded me of something. I don't like people, and you're one of these people okay. that are automatically negative about situations. Not me, <laughs> Cam, Peyton. You are. Not me. If I tell, like, I don't like when I tell you something and the first thing you think of is, like, imminent danger or the worst possible scenario. Yeah, it's because we live on Earth. But you don't have to bring that to me. We live in reality. I literally... You live in fairy tale Yodi land, and I live on the planet Earth. <laughs> I live in the United States of America, Earth. I literally... I have a Jeep, right? Yeah. It is Jeep tradition for you to put a rubber ducky in the door handle of a Jeep. You yeah. just got... Ducked. Yeah. Happy experience. I know exactly what you're saying. I sent Cam a picture of a duck on my Jeep. First thing he says, make sure it's not laced. Yeah, don't touch it. Could be laced. There's a lot of criminal activity going on. <laughs> they can simply lace it with a very powerful you-know-what. Put it on there. You touch it. Absorbs into your skin. Biggest organism. Who says right things like that? Uh, someone that cares about your safety. I am. Your well-being. You're like, hey, rubber ducky. I'm a Jeep. I get rubber ducky. And I'm like, oh, I want you to live. Grab it with gloves. Knock it off first. See if it starts dissolving. <laughs> it's a rubber duck. <laughs> no, c criminals don't come up to you with a blade and go, hey, give me it. It's mine. There's always, a, there's always an act. There's always something first. Rubber duck seems harmless. You grab it. You wake up in Taiwan, and now you're like, what the hell is going on? They have your kidney in an ice bucket, and you're just sitting there <laughs> decrepit, lonely, and afraid and out of the country. You're the type of person, when I get a new car, I'd be like, mm, heard the wheels fall off, and they explode. I'm yeah. Again, safety. <laughs> Why? What did Preston tell you to get? Preston, <laughs> kind of love him. He said the durability is unbelievable. Like, Preston, I'm not fun. driving that shit. <laughs> I said, I'm not a mom. I'm yeah. eight. I tell Preston, I'm like Preston, you, I'm looking for a new car. Will you give me like something that's like nice, like sexy? He goes, oh, get like a get like a a, a he said, like, a, you know, he said like a Honda hatchback. I was like, like what? what? The fuck? And he goes, no, bro, it'll last you 15 years. Said, you don't understand. He said the battery life on those is unbelievable. The spark plugs and the evanescence of the conjunction. <laughs> like, Preston, like, get Preston, the fuck stop out of here. Uh, no, but. It's okay. I wouldn't call it automatically negative. I don't. I don't deem myself. First off, there's a word for it. You know what the word is? Pessimist. But it's pessimistic. But that's, not, that's, my, that's not me. That's not me. That's a pessimistic. But you know that's if, not me. If I buy you I'm a car, and the first thing you say is, "Oh, I heard those explode." Yeah, because I want to be safe. But that's not being a pessimistic or a pessimist. That's like, you know me. I'm a very happy, jolly, go lucky guy. I would think. No, you know, there's something in my eye, and if it's one of those flies, I'm leaving. No, it's not. Uh, it's not being pessimistic it's the it's like the way my dad always said it, he's like he's like i'm just a realist like he there, it's not like he's a a angry ass guy that's just like screw earth but it's like 
he also knows he just knows what shit is like and he's not gonna sugarcoat okay. it. okay that's fine i i would say i am very like you you know me on a on a regular day i, I can drop something i might be mad for five seconds but it doesn't affect my you'll day. bite like, your finger i keep going i <laughs> I, I keep going, but in certain situations, I just, I, it's like a fact check almost. Like, uh -huh. I need to make sure this is what it actually is before I get happy. Okay. Let me protect myself. I wouldn't say I'm automatically negative. I don't think they're real. Like, if you, brought, if you brought me a McFlurry, yeah. I'm consuming it. There's no checking. <laughs> I trust McDonald's. But I've that's had good. That's because you. Because my what? What are you doing right there? What the hell is that? Oh, I eat a lot? I'm fat? I'm a fat guy. You have a you have a hefty appetite. That just made me itch. You hurt my feelings so bad that I had to itch myself. I had to scratch myself. You have a hefty appetite. I do eat a lot. What does that, that mean? That means you're not gonna check what it is. If it's you see my foot, if you can eat it, you're going to strike it. you. But I would never check a McFlurry. Why are you itching so much? Because there's bugs. There's insects. <laughs> I can't get out, and it's it's so hot, and the fans only on you. That's two weeks in a row. I turned it on That's oscillate. two weeks in a row. I turned it on oscillate. <laughs> There's a difference between realism and automatically negative. And, realism and could be happy. Thank you. We're on the same page now. You're automatically negative. You no, can't I'm be not. the happy side of realism. I'll be negative. I'm not automatically negative. I'll be negative. What does that mean? You know what I don't like? What? I don't, I don't understand beaches and water. What the hell does that mean? I don't understand the joy of a beach and water. So you've never cracked a cold one with your toes in the sand getting beamed by God's rays of sun. I and have. then when you get too hot, you simply unplug your music, take off the shades, and jump in a body of water? I don't own a pair of headphones. If I jumped in a body of water, it would be my last day. I don't know how to swim. Yeah, you can't swim. That's, that's so immature. Like, not knowing how to swim. Are you nuts? That's very immature. I'm not going to It's lie. an unnecessary skill to, learn, to know how to swim. Oh, it's unnecessary? Yeah. Ask any survivalist. If swimming is not necessary. even a word what you just said. A survivalist? You just Someone made that, that specializes in survival. <gasps> you mean to tell me swimming's unnecessary? It's an unnecessary life skill. When my kids born, just avoid the water. Before my kid can go, dad, dad, I'm going <laughs> swim, dumping him into a body of water. <gasps> That's what you got to do. I I missed that step. I guess so. How do you not know how to swim? First I off, don't, I don't. First off, in any almost any commercial pool, you can stand up and you're not drowning. No, That's the first but thing. I panic when I touch. Like if, if it's deeper than if it, it's higher than my my kneecap, panic mode. Why? Water. Swim. I, scared. Stand. Scared. Stand. Breathe. No, but if and if I swear to God, if water splashes on my face, I think I'm under. Help! Help! Dude, matter of fact, quick story time. This man, we were all at Ashland. Y'all know Auntie Ashland's house. We were at her house. She has a very nice pool in the backyard, and we like the the only reason we went there was to swim. Okay. Like the only reason. What are you? Why are you saying okay? Like you weren't there. Like I'm saying something you don't know. You already know exactly. I don't know what, what you're gonna say. You know exactly what I'm gonna say because you know the exact meaning. We go to her house to enjoy a couple adult beverages and swim in the water in the pool. Fine. We are there for two and a half hours, and he is bone dry. He has not touched the water uh -huh. yet. I'm like a damn fish at SeaWorld. I'm sitting there <laughs> just popping in and out, enjoying my life. Live in Ashland. They're probably on the... Uh, uh, they're on the little, what's it called? The little raft things. Like the little floaties. floaties. Flo raft oh. in a pool? Survivalist. You see where my mind's at? Bro, surviving. This man didn't get it. We got there at 7. He wasn't in the water till 11 o'clock. Because, bro, I I don't understand. Her pool is not deeper than five and a half feet. You are six, seven. I don't need to learn how to swim. You could stand barefoot in the deepest part of her pool and your nipple lines barely cover. But, that, but that's not fun. I don't understand the joy of standing in wet. Because it feels good. No, it doesn't. So you'd rather be dry Sticky because the sweat and just outside. Yes, the water. Bro, I'm saying bro, that's why I don't up, understand beaches. Cause shut up. Because Shh. don't do that. Shh. Don't don't do that. Shh. What, are you gonna beat my ass? Shh. I, sh shushing is. Oh no. Oh no. Shushing. <laughs> shushing is my worst enemy. Sh oh oh. Shushing is my number one pet peeve. Shh. I hate that shit. Shh. One what reason. Is it? What is your number one pet peeve? Stop. I hate when I'm getting quieted with that noise. It's my number one pet peeve. It's silence. One because I can't do it. <laughs> I took a fucking turn. 
One because that no, that's hilarious. <laughs> that is hilarious. That's the only reason you don't like it. No, I don't like it because you can't shush other people. <laughs> You're jealous. Oh my god. The only reason you don't like being shushed is because you can't return the favor. Figure it out. Oh my god. <laughs> shush <No>. me. <laughs> you said, bro, you can't shush people. But the second Holy reason shit. I don't like shut the I've fuck never up. put two and two together. Shut up. You can't. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you can't shush people. The second reason is because it's so demeaning and demoralizing. To to to. I'm not a fucking kid. <laughs> No, it honestly makes my butthole tight. I hate okay. it. What do you? You don't. Your butthole doesn't get tight when you get mad. I thought. I thought buttholes got tight when you got scared. You're like, oh, and you kind of like, like that. Like you don't get angry and you go, Argh! like that'd be a problem. I don't get. I, I don't get angry often. You have hemorrhoids. What is that? What's hemorrhoid? Do you know what a hemorrhoid is? A hemorrhoid? I don't know what a hemorrhoid is. Okay, dog. Patience, patience, patience. What's a hemorrhoid? Hemorrhoid. That's what you said. Yeah, you need cream, and it's on your rectum. I don't it's have on a, your sphincter. I don't play around too much over there, so I don't really know. I hope not. I hope you don't play around. You don't have field day in your <laughs> ass. I hope you don't have the punt, pass, and kick competition down there in your taint. But a hemorrhoid is bad news. We'll just say that. Bad news. Oh, is that when we never monkeys? Their Shh. booty hole is inside out? Shh. Stop fucking shushing me. Shh. Stop it. Oh, I have a question for you. I'm going to do that the whole time. Stop. Stop. Shh. I have a question for I'm you. I'm going to do it till you do it back. <laughs> I have a question oh. for you. Oh. Yo, that, Would that you? might be the most unintentional funny thing that we say this entire episode. You don't like being shush because you can't do it. I can't back. do it. I don't know. You're like how. the kid that loses at the playground and like takes his ball with him. If I if I'm not on, no one's playing. Would you eat my placenta for ten thousand dollars? <laughs> if I give you ten thousand dollars, would you eat my placenta? No. Honestly. To eat your placenta, you'd have to have me bound by chains with a gun to my head <laughs> to eat your placenta. They do that for friendship. For friendship? Yeah, like you eat your families and friends' placentas. I've heard it. From the lost island of Anadoki? I'm pretty sure I ate my dad's placenta once. You wouldn't eat my placenta for $10,000. If you ate your father's placenta, okay, I'm going to smack your dad. One, he'll then beat my ass in return. Then I'm going to beat your ass for making me get my ass beat from your father. If you consumed your father's placenta, a 60-year-old piece of body, piece of flesh. It's 58. You deserve, you deserve, let's see. You deserve a lifetime punishment of going to the dentist once a week to clean that filthy mouth. I haven't been to the dentist in like seven years. Okay, question though. Do you love me? Not enough to eat your placenta. Regardless of the scenario, do you love me? Not enough to eat your placenta. Regardless of, do you do you love me? Yes. How much? A lot? I'm not. Would you say eating. would you say no? Just hey, my Mr. Question. Miyagi, you missed. Just answer my question. Going. No. Do you love me? Yes. How much do you love me? I'm scared of one to ten. Ten. Why wouldn't you eat my placenta? Uh, let's see. Oh, let's see. Oh, clinically insane. That's a sign of love. Parents, okay? Yes. Parents eat placenta. You call me dad. Of newborn. You are 24. For me to eat that dust bag of a placenta, again, <laughs> bound by chains, gun to skull, Eat this or perish. I will give. I'll cash up you ten grand if you eat my placenta. You would. Ha you'd have to give me you for me to eat your placenta. You're eating a piece of me. No, and that. Oh my god. You want. You don't want okay. a piece of me inside okay. of you. Devil's advocate. You don't want me inside of you. You love me. You don't want me inside Do of you. You love me. You don't want me inside Do you of you. You love me. Yeah. Skill one to ten. Ten. Okay. Would you eat my infected big toe? <laughs> it's different. That's okay. not inside of you. It's a piece of me. Would you eat my infected? You weren't big born toe? with that. Would you eat my green big toe now? No. I would do it to save your life. Would you eat my placenta to save my life? Dog, what are we doing? With, with barbecue seasoning. With the barbecue. Oh, like they're going to roast it for me. I don't even. How that do you get actually, the placenta that out? That just turned my stomach. <laughs> that just upset me. How do you get the placenta out? What is the placenta? I don't think it'd be half bad with barbecue, though. To be honest. Thank but, you. But. We're having the placenta party. That's to, No, we're not. That's to save your life. To save your existence. I would eat your placenta if it was barbecue Okay, seasoning. if you know how to year to live. You wouldn't eat my placenta? So if you have a year to live, yeah. like regardless? Yeah. No. 
Why? Because you have a year to live. You don't want a piece of me inside you while I'm gone? I don't want to eat that little purple whoopee cushion that came out of you 24 years ago. <gasps> oh, it's not just... in me anymore? <laughs> Where is the placenta? You think we're, we're like, we're taking you to Dr. Oz? He's going to slit you open and hand me a placenta <laughs> on a silver platter and sprinkle some Kinder's barbecue on it. Theoretically, that's what I had going on. I don't know what the placenta Are is. Are you dumb? I heard that it's a, a sign of love. Are you dumb? Maybe. <laughs> A sign of love. Yeah. I need a heart baked, a heart shaped cookie for a sign of love. Some Valentine's Day shit. But that shit. didn't come out of me. Dog, your placenta. Oh, what? This is, this is that patience. You're going to get pissed off what I'm about to say. Cause Shocker. Because you're, you're a little health freak nut loser boy. Ooh, sorry I lack abundant life, healthiness. I feel like I'm going to live longer than you beca oh, no, because of my no, diet. You're out of there. No. Because of your diet. Yes. All right, you little carnivore, because of your diet. Straight ground beef, Diet Coke, McDonald's, number threes. Yes. You're going to live longer than me on that. People that When's the last time you had a vegetable? Does it when is the last time you've consumed a vegetable? I had pickles on my quarter pounder. Go to hell. <laughs> No. No, it's because I don't understand the functionality of cooking. I feel like it's a waste of time. What? Cooking is a waste of time. You don't understand the functionality of cooking food. It's it's pointless. Okay, well, let's see. It, it's the Oh, survive. Eat. Feed. Feed. My own horse? No, you're a being. You're a sentient being that needs to eat food. <laughs> no, okay. I don't understand... I don't like to have to cook for 30 minutes. I get the, my house smelling like beef, and then I gotta go. And That's I, your choice. <laughs> That's your choice. And then you gotta. There's plenty of other proteins. And you gotta spend an hour and a half cleaning up everything to eat for 10 an minutes. Hour and, an hour and a half. What'd you do? Eat with your hands on, your, on the floor? No, the. An hour and a half cleaning. The pot's in the pans. If it takes you. An, dude, it would take you. For your apartment, it would take an hour and a half to clean the whole thing twice. And you have the nerve to say an hour and a half cleaning after cooking. Bro, it, to cook in 30 minutes, that's not long. That's bro, to cook a good meal. To eat for 10 minutes and you have to spend 30 minutes preparing and then cleaning? 30 minutes to prepare, 30 minutes to clean, 10 minutes to eat? That's a good return on investment? Uh, for health, let's see, to satisfy your hunk. Yeah. And then you're hungry is. again in an hour and you got to do it all over again. Yeah. That's pointless. Welcome to adult. Or you could just go to McDonald's twice. That takes 10 minutes. Yeah, You're and then full. you'll be sweating out grease and fryer extra. I'll be happy, hungry, healthy. I'll be hungry. Hungry <laughs> is I'll what you'll be after McDonald's. I'll be healthy, full, and happy. I was about to say something very hurtful. <laughs> say it. No, I can't. Say it. Nope, you have to. <laughs> no. Nope, can't say it. You'll be greasy, nasty, and lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Bro. <laughs> kiss, pinch, poke, yo, me a kiss, uh, a coke, lunch, something. Don't ever stick your tongue out like that again. Don't ever. You look like a little fish that goes up to the tank. You're my baby bird. No, I'm not. What the hell was that? You're my baby bird. I'm strong ass bees. You're my baby bird. <laughs> you are my baby bird. Shut up. That's too many bees. Too you don't think you're not my baby bird? No. Back to cooking. You have to cook. You Honestly, you, you got to stop doing that shit, bro. Doing what? He eats fast food probably eight times a week. No exaggeration. I eat it for every meal. Well. In the morning, Starbucks. Lunch, Chick-fil-A. Dinner, Whataburger or, or McDonald's. Whataburger. Okay, so in the morning, $7 coffee. Make your own. <laughs> At lunch, Chick-fil-A. It's Lord's Chicken. Can't say too much about it. Absolutely love it. Whataburger McDonald's for every dinner. Yes. You are going to not be able to walk by the time you're 33. <laughs> like, it is, it is so, it's bad. It's really no, bad. No, it builds up your immune system. Builds up your immune system. Yes. You know what else does? What? Vitamins, minerals. No, that weakens good, it. clean food. That weakens it. it makes, organic stuff. That makes you soft. It makes you soft. You're in, you, dude, your colon is lined in grease. Like, your small intestine is beef-filled. Not good beef, either. Frozen patty, let's heat it up and grease it, serve it to him on a thick-ass, saturated carb bun, and he's going to eat it every day. I don't like people like, yo, watch one documentary, and you think you know everything about didn't food. Didn't watch a documentary. You didn't watch Super Size Me? Or no, you didn't watch anything with I watched Super Size Me. Thank you, documentary. And what happened to him, jackass? <laughs> he, he was on your diet, and his life sucked. My life is great. God has blessed me. He's about to bless you to an early, <laughs> an early grave. As long as I'm stuffed, I don't care. Oh my God, dude, you have to cook. Like, 
cook. That's such a waste of time. I don't have that much time in a day. First off, the, this whole ROI on cooking, like, you should You know that makes sense. You sh it does, but you shouldn't think of it like that. It's cooking. Who gives a fuck what you think about it as? That's what it is. Realism. That's what you said earlier in the podcast. Realism. That's what it is. You know what else is realism? Healthy food, not healthy food. Healthy food, not healthy food. They wouldn't serve it Health to you if wealth. it was going to kill Health you. Health is wealth. Health is wealth. No? Yes. I can make money with being unhealthy. Okay. Which one's more important? Health or money? They're, they're mutually... They're not ah! mutually... Oh, you son of a bitch. They're not you mutually exclusive. Bastard. Are you... No, if I gave you $10 million, but for the rest of your life, you're sick and ill, you'd take it? How sick and ill? You're sick and ill. How sick and ill? Don't try to find a loophole. No, I'm not. I'm asking. I don't know, whatever your brain imagines. Oh, I can still move around and do things? I don't know. Whatever yeah, you want. The hell yeah. Give me the $10 million. I'll have a little side pain. I don't give a shit. It's not side pain. You're <laughs> ill. Like, I'm at, like, let's say flu-like stuff for the rest of your life. Oh, the, at the bare minimum. I'll eventually get immune to it. I'm fine. $10 million. No, you won't. And I could go to the doctor enough to where they'll make me feel good for a period of time and I'll go back $10 million. You're you a nuts? sad being. You're a sad little boy. <laughs> You're a sad, sick little boy. You said you'd take $10 million over health. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with you? What? I could go get hit by a bus tomorrow. That cabbage that I ate is not going to save me. Why are you walking in the street? To cross the road. When the bus is coming. I didn't see you it. You jaywalking ass idiot. You didn't see a bus. It's an apartment on wheels. And you've you never seen it. You've, you've, you've you seen every bus that's crossed the road. They're buses. Oh, sorry. I got Oculus Vision everywhere I go. My, 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 my parabolas are good. That's not the right thing. Peripheral. Oculus Vision. Go to hell. What do you? It's a bus. Ooh, my name's Cam. I got LASIK. I can see everything. I don't have LASIK. It's an 85 foot Twinkie coming down the highway. How do you not see it? It's quiet. It's a bus. It's a Tesla bus. A Tesla bus. You need to be slapped, bro. I almost got hit by a train the other day. <gasps> Where are you at? Why are you by railroads? I was driving. You live in Dallas. <laughs> was it the dart? Yeah. How do you almost get hit by a dart? Because I didn't see it coming. Dude. And I was driving with my music Are you looking left. at your phone? No. Then why, the, how the hell do you not see it? I was focused. Focused on what? In front of me. It was coming from the side. Dude, you're, you, you, oh my God, you need training. I you, need, you need homebound. I have bad peripherals. You need to be homebound. What does that mean? You can't leave your house. Like home alone? You, no, 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 you can't leave your house. Like you're not allowed to leave. I, I kind of only do, I do that you're now. You're not allowed to leave. What the hell was that? You ever have so much saliva in your throat, you hard to swallow? Yes. Dude, I kind of like it. You're a freaky ass. <laughs> you are a fucking gargoyle, bro. You don't like panicking a you little a bit? You are a gargoyle. You don't like panicking a little bit? Gargoyle. You don't like panicking a little bit? No. Really? Why would I like to panic? You don't like that little thrill of, am I going to make it past a second? You have a strange dopamine. You have a strange dopamine. Receptors. Like whenever you have so much saliva in your throat and you swallow it. And you, you spit it out. First off, if you're just up chucking it back and forth, swallow, regenerate, swallow. Maybe that's why you don't eat too much. Because your gut's full of spit. You're not supposed to spit your spit. You're not. It's, it's literally fucking called spit. It's called spit. You're not supposed to run on your runs. It's spit. <laughs> you spit it. No, you're not supposed to spit your saliva. You're supposed to swallow it. What are you spitting then? <laughs> you're not supposed to do the action of spit, dumbass. So you're not supposed to spit? No. Who the hell invented spit? Idiots like you. People that believe that cabbage is the, the root to all hell and heaven. I didn't say cabbage is going to stop you from getting hit by an apartment on wheels, you think, dumbass. You think eating three salads a day is going to save you from eternity? Okay. It's not. You're going to die at the end of the day anyway. At the end of the day, you creep, you little shaman, what do you got, a glass ball? You just said, I just want to recap this last 60 seconds. I hate when you, you adjust. Said, you said your parabolas don't allow you to see big ass buses, you're focused on in front of you, and you like the satisfaction and the thrill of almost choking on your spit, Yeah, because you're not supposed to get rid of the spit when it's literally called spit. You're not supposed to get rid of the saliva, I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit your gut. We're going to see what oozes out. Let's keep debating. I should stab you. I've, let's keep debating. I should cut you it, open. This is a basic ass debate, but I want to have this question with Go. you. It's it basic. I hate, I'm hate. i definitely taking dubs. I, 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 dubs. I hate this question, but I, I know you're going to say the wrong answer because you're dumb. You're dumb. I have all... Oh, I'm dumb. Hey, look, there's a bus. <laughs> hit. <laughs> oh, my God. Is soup... Is cereal a soup? No. 
Are you, you fucking idiot. mental? Are you cereals? You idiot. Cereals not a soup? No, you're the same type. Ooh, hot dogs a sandwich. No, keep it on task. Hot dogs a sandwich. Keep it on. Keep it on subject. Is cereals not a soup? Cereals not a soup. What is a soup? Soup is soup. soup. Oh, see, that's such a bad answer. You soup don't know. is its own thing. Soup is its own dish. No, that's like saying deep dish isn't pizza. It's a pizza. It's a deep dish pizza. It's still pizza. Cereal, cold soup. Absolutely not. Cereal is cereal. Do you eat cereal with a spoon? If you, that's like saying breakfast pizza isn't pizza. It's breakfast. It's still a pizza. Cereal is still a soup. Just because it's cold, it's not a soup. Cereal is its own thing. S you're switching. Yes. Cereal is its own thing. It is. Just like ravioli. Agreed. Ravioli is different from. Cool. <laughs> Next. Like, what are we? I Thanks. It's its own thing. It's got its own brand. Ergo, it's its own thing. Is cereal on the soup aisle? Checkmate. Is cereal we're not on the doing soup this, aisle? We're not doing this Checkmate! aisle. Checkmate! We're not doing this aisle shit. Checkmate! We're not doing this aisle shit anymore. Soup is all... Can you buy dry soup? Is dog food cat food? Can you buy dry soup? Yes. You can buy dry soup. Yes. What is dry soup? What do you buy whenever there's about to be an apocalypse, Cam? Dry soup. What the fuck? What are you saying? You want to talk to me about stay on task? You just brought zombies in this shit. 30 days of night. You don't... That's what... It's canned soup. Yes, dry. What the fuck? What does that mean? Bite in a can. It's not dry, dumbass. The can... Why are you moving? You gotta raise it so... <gasps> when you buy a soup out of a ravioli... Liquid. Are you are you stupid? You buy it dry. You're is it about to piss me is off. it in the wet aisle? You're about to piss me off. There's a wet aisle. Yeah. What do you have to put on fucking scuba gear to go down the aisle? It's a it's a it's a it's a uh, an attraction. It's a it's a a wet aisle. Do you argue to argue submarine doors? <laughs> you argue you have just to, to argue. Scuba a, a damn what's the thing called the the, uh, the the thing? What do you when you uh just fucking. Ah! I can't speak. I can't talk. Words are hard. Factory reset, reset, reset. Factory reset. Look, gotta... Shut down. Evernessence. Words are hard. English, English. Dictionary. Merriam Webster. Why can't I talk? Look. Why are you thumbing your ass? Give my hat. What the hell was Sniff that? Sniff it. What the? You son of a bitch. Why can't I talk? Why can't There's I? There's not talk? a wet aisle. No. Where do you get your water from? The the drink aisle. Is it wet? No. Are you dumb? You're, you're there's, pissing me There's off. products for wet. There's aisles for wet product. There's not aisles for wet product. Th that's drinks. Are you dumb? Okay, is soup wet? Is soup wet? Yes. Okay, why is it on the drink aisle? Soup's on the drink aisle? I said, why isn't it? Because you, it's dry. Oh, 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 it's uh, dry. You just said it was wet! You just said it was wet! Four and a half seconds ago! Four and a half seconds ago! You said it was wet. <laughs> I'm just so much saliva. You said it was wet. But I literally, that is called a <laughs> fucking rope and then drag him. That, that sounded crazy. That is a rope and secure the win. I stole your queen. Because you don't you let me no finish my thought. Pieces. You don't let me finish my I thought. I absolutely cornered you and I wrecked you. You don't let me finish my thought. Let's run it back. Dude. I literally said, is soup. Fucking idiot. I said, is soup wet? You said, yes. I said, why is it on the drink aisle? You Be said, because it's dry. <laughs> you dumbass idiot. You idiot. You idiot. Go back to school. If you think soup's dry, go back to school. Because You're the dropout. I'm not. It's getting. And we're cutting deep. We're cutting deep because you said soup's dry. You look crazy. Your eyeballs right now, they're wet. Are they on the drink aisle? No. So they're automatically dry. You're an idiot. Listen to me, dumbass. I don't like you. <laughs> I don't like you. You eat dry soup. The canned soup is dry. It's on the dry aisle. There's wet soup in the wet aisle. Pre-made soup. <laughs> <Don't like. laughs> There's wet soup in the wet aisle. The pre All the soup is together. No, dumbass. You sack of coins. You are an idiot. Inside your brain, there's a little ass monkey with the little things going. Ing, 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 you, ing, ing. Just oh, bad thought. Ing, ing. Just because you yell doesn't make you right. And you I, speak I, over I, me. I am a huge advocate of loud does not mean correct. However, you said soup is dry. It is. There's dry. You buy it dry. Some soup. And some soup you buy wet. One example. The Chef Boy RD soup. You buy it dry. 
You keep it in a bunker for 18 years, and if there's an apocalypse, there's wet soup that's pre-made that whenever you grab it, you can go like this and see it move. Wet soup. If you buy a can of Chef Boyardee, you can literally shake it in here. What the? That's ravioli, dumbass. What is Chef Boyardee? <laughs> there's soup, and yeah. there's ravioli. There's different kinds. You act like he's a one-can man. There's there's, he's a great chef. You act like he's a one-can man. He's a, great, he's a master of his craft. Exactly. And he makes wet soup. And dry soup. There's no such thing as dry soup. What the hell is a dry, su is a dry soup? What is it? You buy it in what a dry is aisle. It? Go to a fucking gas station. Uh, you're buying gas station soup! They have Chef Boyardee at gas stations? No, yeah, for six bucks a can because they're desperate and they got a bad package order. You're buying soup from a gas station. This conversation's over. Whatever, dog. You're buying soup you piss me off. from the same place You're you stupid. purchase petrol. It's not dry. Yeah, it is. You can't buy it dry. And then Dude, what? I swear to God, if you went up to a tell a teller. There's not soup that you can have. If you literally walked up in a gas station and you said, yeah, let me get 20 on pump six. Uh, let me get a $5 scratch off in this can of Chef Boy RD. Yeah. He has every right to punch you in the mouth. There's no way. There's not soup you can add water to that comes dry that you add water to it. No. You are you were born rich. You've never added water to soup. Born, that's ramen noodles. That's soup. That's ramen. Is ramen not soup? Ramen noodles is soup. I got him. Dry soup. That's not I dry win. soup. You lose. That's not dry soup. That's the only thing. And you you were not talking about ramen this entire time. I won. Your I got number him. one. I got him. Your number. No, you didn't. You said there's no such thing as dry soup. Then why is the soup on the wet aisle? Why isn't the wet soup on the wet aisle? Huh? Wait, all I got is fucking because submarine. Because it is. Huh? Huh? You submarine? A little scuba? A little Navy SEAL? Huh? Whatever, dog. Why isn't it on the wet aisle? You just feel better because you were naturally born with a gene to swim and I wasn't. Uh, oh, because I got to shop on the wet aisle. Because I put on my dolphin fins and went in there and got the wet Whatever, suit. dog. You're anyway, an idiot. Speaking of gas stations, you suck. you're stupid. You're an idiot. Ooh, my name's Cam. I teach the you, so I think I'm smarter than everybody. Ooh, my name's Payne. I have bliss text on my sphincter and I throw it at Cam's face. It's not like the first time Cam's ever touched my sphincter. You literally, like, you can't keep doing that. I don't know how many times I have to tell you. You cannot keep doing that. Why? You can't. Why are you ashamed of me? <laughs> Is your sphincter? I don't know where that's at. so explicit. Is it? Yes. That's literally it. <laughs> Do we cut that out? <laughs> Speaking of gas stations. I feel reserved. Have you ever got scammed by a homeless man? <laughs> What? I got scammed by a homeless man. Like he robbed you or <laughs> almost. So I didn't know there's you like almost this... let a... <laughs> I didn't know that there's these group of fake homeless people. Yeah. So there was this one guy. That's why I only give him like water or food. I'll I never give know. him money. I didn't know. So I'm I've never been in a position to really help people. Now I'm in a position to help people. <laughs> hey, I respect that, honesty. So I saw you can the... always help people. So I was going to this gas station, right? And this guy, his toes were out. And I could tell, I, I thought, based on his, like, his toe structure, that he was homeless. <laughs> I don't think you can say that, bro. Based on someone's toe structure, you could tell he didn't have a roof. That is unbelievable that you said that. <laughs> I gotta cut that. No, you keep it. Ah! You hit my burn! Ah! Oh. Based on his toe structure, I thought he was homeless. <laughs> What does that mean? Like they were like it, his just, hooves were out. <laughs> yeah, like talons. Like it's like if you were like, it was curled over. <laughs> yeah, like if you were to see like if you were to take your foot right and then throw like, like a bunch like mine. Yeah, and my then, actual foot. <laughs> and then like throw chalk on it and then kick a wall seven times. Like oh. just based on the like like the condition of his foot, I was like, oh, he's down bad, right? Mm -hmm. And so I was like, I want to help this man. I want to bless him, right? He goes, hey man, anything will help. And I go, oh, okay. Uh, he used to give like five dollars, and I looked at my wallet. I had a hundred dollar bill. Oh my god! And I was like, I'm put in a position to help this guy. I'm gonna help him. I hand this man a hundred dollars. I should have known something was wrong when I hand him a hundred dollar <laughs> bill. I want to hand him a hundred dollar bill, and his face doesn't light up. It seems like you're used to that. You shouldn't be at all. I'm not used to that. You just got <laughs> in one transaction. Is that, I mean, is that, is that, their, is that close to it? Is that, that's too much. You're out of here. That's too, okay. Well, <laughs> uh, mm. oh, so, fuck. so is your hair. It's so bad. Dude, that, your shit is long. Thanks.
Why? See, bro, e- <laughs> everything. But if if I had, if you're homeless and I hand you a hundred dollar bill, you would think you would think that it's like Christmas morning. Christmas morning, and I was happy to do it. But his face, like he was like, "Oh, thank you." I was expecting a bigger reaction. Been like, <laughs> wait a minute. Why, why aren't you Why aren't you lighting up? And so I hand him the hundred dollar bill. He doesn't really give me much reaction. I'm like, okay, I don't do it for the reaction. I'm just trying to help this man. I go and get my goodies. I go back home. I have to go back to that gas station later that night because I was going to give me some beers, right? I was going to have a good night, go to get some beers. I'm walking back to the gas station. The homeless man's gone. I'm like, oh, where did he go, right? You think? Yeah, I probably thought relocated for the nightfall. Maybe. But then I see in the distance somebody walking towards the car, right? Like walking towards the parking lot. And I'm like, that silhouette looks very much like the guy that I gave $100 to. Oh. The homeless man gets in a Mustang in front of me. He has a nicer car than me. And now he has your $100. <laughs> and my pride. Oh, my God. And all of your dignity. Oh, I would have rear-ended his ass. <laughs> Apparently, there's like this big homeless game where people are pretending to be homeless just to get money. I'm not going to lie, bro. As bad as I feel for you, it's slightly your fault. That I was trying to help somebody? I, I don't know. I just feel like, I feel like you're obligated to ask a little more questions at first. Like you just handed him a hundred bucks. What am I supposed to get? 21 questions? How'd you get here? Why are you here? No, just maybe get to know. What was his name? You don't even know him. No clue. You're just like, here's a hundred bucks. Yeah. I looked at his toes. No, yeah. No, he was selling it for sure. No, he, he that, He's a hell of an actor. That might be his full-time if had, job. If he had his hoof out and he was getting hundos and he hops in the Ford... The GT? A coupe? <gasps> no, he's... That's sick. Like, that's not okay. But you're, you're equally bad. You're equally dumb. I honestly feel like I could beat any animal in a fight other than, like, a lion. Absolutely not. Are you nuts? You lose to a gorilla. 100%. I'm 6'7", 215 pounds. A gorilla is the strength of 20 men. Doesn't care about you. Can't rationale with it. He would rip your arm off like you ripping, like, like a drumstick. I feel like I can outrun a gorilla. You can outrun a gorilla. 100%. How fast do you think a gorilla is? Slower than me. Slower than you. All right, Usain. How fast are you, buddy? Okay, no. If there's con- you're so damn fast. If there's conditions on, on these animals, right? A gorilla can only use his, 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 his big legs to run. Oh, so... He can't go four. That's cheating. How is that cheating? Because that's like me bringing a machinery. You can't do that. I got you with gun versus gorilla. I got the gorilla. In a sanctioned boxing match, I could be any, any animal. In uh, a sanctioned boxing match match a gorilla is going to grab your shoulder that's not sanctioned and boxing match. snap it that's off that's not sanctioned hey, boxing guess match. what they don't comprehend because they're a gorilla you don't have any faith in yourself faith in myself versus a gorilla i'm not weak you're not even stronger than me oh <laughs> you are not you're not stronger than me i couldn't beat you up I didn't say that. Kim, I'd grab your manhood and twist it. That's an insane sentence. I will win the fight. That's insane. Oh, sanctioned boxing match. And you're going to grab and twist? You <laughs> slimy bastard. No, any animal. Like, I feel like I, a panda. Easy. Pandas are soft and cuddly. A gazelle. A gazelle. Easy. Why the hell are you fighting a gazelle? If it wanted the smoke. If a gazelle wanted the smoke, it'd probably upkick you and dip. By the time you could open your eye again, he's gone. An ostrich, into easy. The, into the plains. Easy ostrich. You're terrified of ostrich. terrified, but I could be one in a fight. Fuck no. I'll fucking grab that bitch's no. neck. <laughs> Come here, motherfucker. Go to sleep. And, and he would like, literally peck you right here. His beak goes through. You're now gasping for air, bleeding. Have you seen giraffes? The muff- they can fight. You're more scared of a giraffe than a gorilla. I- giraffes are taller than me. Hell yeah, I'm more scared of a giraffe than a gorilla. A giraffe! I feel like a giraffe would take you to a book class. Like you could take a giraffe to a fucking Barnes and Noble and like hang out with it. Bro, what is he gonna do? Gorillas are more like humans than giraffes. I can go on one-on-one with the gorilla and be like, hey, you know me, Peter. Giraffe, I don't give a shit. What first off, holy shit. What gorilla is named Peter? You've never gorilla met a gorilla? Peter. You can't ration out with one. Are you nuts? Oh, you went to zoologist school? I've seen a gorilla do magic! Oh, you have Andragogy? You have enough of that? Who is that? <laughs> you have enough you have enough appeal to to box a gorilla and in the middle of it you go, hey, time out, dog. Yeah, it would understand me more than a giraffe. Tell- have you seen giraffes fight? Ruthless. And it sounds like you're hitting bricks together. What? They're just whipping necks. <laughs> That's all they're doing. And that would hurt. A gorilla's gonna eat you. Doesn't mean I'm, they could both hurt me. I'm more scared of a giraffe. I feel like a giraffe could stomp on me, hit me, bite me, grab me. 
You 100% chance, 100 without a doubt, have a better chance. 100% without a doubt, have a better chance at beating a giraffe than a gorilla. You are insane. Cam, imagine you're in a zoo. You mean to tell me, you mean to tell me you'd rather fall into the gorilla pit? Yes. A pit of fucking... <laughs> you'd rather fall into a pit of... <laughs> that over a just a... You've never seen a mad... You've never... You've obviously never seen a mad giraffe. A gir First off, if we're going to give names, a gorilla would be like Anubis, like Titus. That's, that'd be his name. A giraffe would be like Melvin or Connor. Like, th that's their names. That should tell you all you need to know. Cam, you've ne how tall am I? Six, seven. How tall is a giraffe? Probably like 12 feet. Exactly. How strong are you? Very weak and frail. How strong is a gorilla? 20 times the strength of a strong man, and you're not even a strong man. Cam. I could talk to a gorilla. A gorilla is... You're going to talk to him? Yes, I'll literally... And I could scare him. I'm the king of this jungle. I, I, I'll go like that and he'll be All like... All right, Nate Diaz? No. He would literally go... Ah! Ah! Oh, my shirt's ruined. Bro, a giraffe? You're like... What is he going to do to you? Hit me with the head. He's gonna swing his neck at you like a big ass, like an OP monster from a game. Yes. A gorilla's gonna you know, a gorilla's gonna grab you. To, he's just gonna mangle you. Like there's no contest. He's literally gonna grab you and just like just, he's literally gonna go. Like I'm talking, he would literally be like, like he would go, he would go nuts, bro. It's a gorilla, okay? And then a giraffe sees me being little and he either stomps on me or just knocks me. Exactly. Me. Which looks more fierce, this? Or just, like, just beating your ass. Okay, but I can also, if a giraffe sees me, I can't talk to the giraffe. If I say, ooh, giraffe if I say, ooh, giraffe please don't hurt me, he doesn't understand me. If I go, ooh, gorilla man, please, he'll go, ooh, okay, pay that. Ooh, gorilla man, he'll go, yeah, you seem like dinner. Yank! And just kill you. A giraffe, like, trying to fight a giraffe is like, like, playing, like, double dutch. You just gotta miss his neck over and over. You and underestimate giraffes. You underestimate the shit out of a gorilla. I don't, but I feel like I have a better chance with a giraffe. A better chance with a giraffe? <laughs> better chance with a gorilla. <laughs> I'm getting hot. I'm sweating. Oh, God. There's no way you just... Holy shit. <laughs> There's no way you said that, bro. Maybe my thoughts are a little whack. Maybe they suck ass. Speaking of my thoughts being whack. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, there's this thing. Transitions on point. <laughs> I've... <clears throat> Have you heard of the apps where you can like record yourself sleeping and see if you oh, say no. anything weird? Oh, dear God, no. I've been having a problem recently of like waking up on the other side of my room. No. And I've been really scared of what I do in my sleep. Oh, my God. I, record I downloaded the app where you can record yourself sleeping. Oh, my God. <laughs> and these are insane, Cam. Like even like honestly, I'm scared of myself. I'm sorry. Are you ready? I'm sorry, Dragon. Are you ready? <laughs> I really don't think I am. Oh, I thought that was you. No. You went, no. That was the first one, right? You're having weird ass nightmares. No. Second one. I want to go. What the f- You literally went Let's just go, let's just go Let's just go, let's just go, let's just go Let's just- Where are you going? Where- I don't know- I don't know where you want to go that bad, but count me out Count me the hell out What are you, what did, whatever happened the day next, or whatever you had going on the next day, you were hella anxious about. You, what are these deep ass breaths, bro? You're like, oh, it's tomorrow, it's tomorrow, it's tomorrow. I don't know why it's I repeat so much. It's tomorrow, it's tomorrow. That's creepy as shit. Yes, there's one more. Don't be another deep breath. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> Play that one 
out again. Oh my god, I almost got a hernia laughing. Oh shit. You said you said let's go, let's go, let's go. what were you saying? Get up, get up. So clear, it's such clear audio. You're, it's like you're literally like, get off, 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 bro. That reminds me of live shit. Yo, oh yeah, your wife says crazy shit when she sleeps. Bro, I'm telling She'll you, she'll be asleep scary. for an hour and literally go. Who is that over there in the corner? And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, hell no, nah, what? Wake up, man. I literally go, nope, nope. Wake up. Holy shit. I am dripping wet. Your chest. You would have thought we swam. Oh, wait, you can't swim. Your belly button's disgusting. You need to fix it. Stop eating beef. It looks like that. Comb, comb your hair. You, holy shit. No, bro, my sleep, bro, I don't know what's happening in my sleep. I was like, get off, get off, get off, get off. You literally said, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <sighs> Super deep breath. Tomorrow, tomorrow, it's tomorrow, it's tomorrow, it's tomorrow. <sighs> get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. What is that? Whatever, whatever the hell you got, you had going, I don't want a part of it. I feel like literally I- Literally signed me out. Like, I do not want to be there. I don't know what's going on, bro, and it's actually concerning. Yo, I feel like you. <laughs> it's the back wet. of my knees are absolutely soaked. Holy shit. That is disgusting. You Alright, you know something I hate? No. So me and Liv are cleaning the- Okay. Well, yeah, I guess so. Me and Liv are cleaning the other day, right? Okay. And I go uh, uh, under the sink to my- What's that thing called? The- the the loose Larry. What is the um? <gasps> what the, uh, the the circle thing? It spins. The like, drawer? For the no, it's a circuit. It's like the an agitated uh, it's like called a. Uh, what are you saying? It's like an angry Allen or what the? F it's the it's the thing that spins. You put all the things on top of it and it spins under your sink. Yes, you know. Come on, dog. You know what it is. I'm, I'm about the whole story is about to be ruined. The thing you set ev like it. It, it saves space. It saves space. It spins. It's like a. Fucking, um, I honestly don't know what the hell you're talking about. It's like a a, a loose, like Sarah or something. Who are you talking about? It's the. It's what it's called. Oh under your God. sink. You're about to make me look Why it up. is Sarah under your sink? She's not under there, dumbass. You know what it's called. You know what it's called. Damn, I swear to God, I have no idea what oh you're talking God. about. It's like a. Who's Larry and Sarah? You got a small school under your sink. Oh, I don't have kids under my sink. It's the thing. It's the what thing. Okay. One more time. The circular thing. It has a base. It rotates. You've seen it. You put cleaning stuff on it. Nothing spins it under my sink. Bro. Then you suck, first off. I'm using adequate storage space. By using the fucking- Did uh, it come with the sink? Just stop. Okay. Uh, la um, Lazy Susan. Who the fuck is that? Lazy Susan. Who that's is that? Lazy Sam. I, I, okay, honestly, no bullshit, you're pissing me off. It's, that's a thing. Lazy Susan is Who, a thing. No, it isn't. A Lazy Susan isn't a thing. It's the thing that spins. Susan, Sarah, and La Larry. Okay, I had the names. I thought it was like an agitated Aaron or something. It's a Lazy Susan. You have a small building under, like, who is that? You have a small corporation of people. An, I have an apartment complex. You have an orphanage under your I sink. Have, I have employees working for me. A lazy Susan. Who's in your sink? Is the thing that, that the, the circular base, you put all your things on it to where they're not stacked up and you have to grab around them and you A spin. shelf? It's called a lazy Susan. No, it's not. What is that? I just said it. Is that the brand? The br you think someone's dumb enough to make a brand called Lazy Susan? I don't know what you're talking That's about. That's the th it's the thing. You're pissing me off, dog. Dude, you're, and you're making me mad at myself, and I don't like that. You're mad at I me because you're it. making up names of children you have in your sink. You have employees. It's a real thing. Explain it better than the spitty thing under the sink Kay. with Larry, Susan, and Kay. lobsters. <laughs> Who I, is this? I didn't say anything about seafood. I don't know Melvin. I didn't say anything about seafood. <laughs> Melvin was the giraffe. I said, I think I said <laughs> Noah, Aaron, Lyle, and like, and Susan. You Sarah. got one direction under yeah. your sink. Okay, listen. It's not a boy band. It is a lazy Susan. It is a real thing. Holy hell. It is a real thing. Think, just listen, real quick. I'm, I'm, I'm listening, it's and that's making it worse. It's a circular base. You plant it on there, the base can move, okay? okay. Just imagine that. that. Imagine like Dragoon's head. It can just move. I, okay. You set all the things on it <clears throat> to where there's now five or six things on this one platform. There's a bug in your <laughs> mouth. Five or six things on this one platform, okay. and they rotate. I hear you. That is a lazy Susan. No, it's not. Just because you don't have it doesn't mean it's not a it's, lazy Susan. You know what it's called, Cam? What humans call it? Not a shelf. Spinny shelf. Spinny shelf. It's better than 
fucking Roseanne or who I never you said. said I never said Roger. I said a lazy Susan is what it's called. You're naming it Kathy. There's, that's beyond the point. It's beyond the point. Okay. That's beyond the point. Tell me the point. So you've never seen a lazy Susan? Never. I, do, I, I camped for the life of me. We spent so much time on this. And I don't even think you know what you're talking about. It's a lazy Susan. In the comment section, do you know what a, a, if you have a lazy Susan, unsubscribe from the podcast. <laughs> if you don't do that, because it's very common and you you live under a rock. You are Patrick Starr's neighbor. You are Patrick Starr's brother. You are Patrick Starr. You live under a boulder. Under the sea, if you don't know what a lazy Susan is. How do you not, how have you never, okay, not owning one is understandable for you because you clean with spit in a rag. You clean, you clean wood with Windex. We all know that. Lazy Susan. Y'all know what it is. He sucks. He doesn't clean. To hell with my story. Dude, you suck. The fact that you you think in the comment section right now, people are going to agree with what the hell you just said. That is baffling to me. Lazy Susan. This right here. Find it. For the, for the audio listeners, you're not going to be able to see it. A spinny shelf. What's it called on there? Does it say Lazy Roseanne? It says Plastic Kidney Cabinet Lazy Susan. Oh. Large Lazy Susan. But that's the shit that pisses me Walnut off. Walnut Lazy Susan. Barrel-inspired Lazy Susan. It's a Lazy Susan. It's basically just a pizza. So you said the brand name. Dumbass. That's not the brand. A Lazy Susan isn't the brand name. The Lazy Susan is the piece of equipment. Dude, you are- That is the article itself. That's the machinery. I'm not gonna lie, you might be one of the dumbest people I've ever met. If we made a Lazy Susan, it would be the You Should Know Lazy Susan. You Should Know is the brand. Lazy Susan is the piece of equipment. No, it's not. Are you stupid? The piece of equipment is spinny shelf. Go to, go to school. <laughs> spinny shelf? I was driving- Are you nine? <laughs> Spinny shelf. I have a question for you, and we could probably agree on this. I want to agree with you because you're starting to piss me off because I'm going to hit you. I'm way too sweaty for you to touch me. I'm not. Oh. <laughs> you're like me, don't. Yeah, it's bad. It's so hot in here. I was driving on the road as one does. Yeah. I was looking around at the different restaurants and fast food places. Of course you were. <laughs> Bet you didn't look at Whole Foods or Walmart. Oh, sorry. I'm not rich. I can't afford Whole Foods. I don't go to Whole Foods. Then why would you even say it? Because it's clean, healthy eating. How would you know? You can't. You can't. You don't buy there. Because I see stuff about it. Where? On the internet. Hmm. Everything on the internet's real. Nope. Exactly. It's more real than McDonald's. You don't know that. Are you in the lab when they're making it? There's, that's the thing. It's not from a lab. Vitamins it's, are made in labs. Ours is from an Argentinian field. I I think there. I was looking around, and there's some fast food restaurants, and I need to know who's keeping these fast food restaurants alive. Who's keeping these still in business? Oh. I have a hunch on the one I think you're going to say. Say it. Nope. You go first, and I'm going to tell you what I said. Long John Silvers. I was going to say Arby's. Oh, if you're eating Arby's, you belong under the prison, under federal confinement, never to be seen in the light of the day. If you're eating <laughs> roast beef sandwiches, if you're eating... Mm, you suck. Like, how do you look at an Arby's and choose a beef and cheddar over a Chick-fil-A sandwich? <laughs> exactly. Who? Or, a, or a patty milk from Whataburger. Let me one-up you on the Arby's. Long John Silver's. Ooh! If you're ever in the vehicle with me and you you offer to take us to Long John Silver's, I'm going to pull the e-brake on the car. <laughs> this bitch is turning into Tokyo Drift. I'm somehow going to remove you from the vehicle and continue driving in your personal vehicle. D dude, you live in the middle of Wisconsin. Yeah. Where is there an ocean? Where, yeah. Where are you getting bass? And like, what? From what lake is this L2 combo from? How can and I? And why is there crunchies? What is that? How can I order a hush puppy and you're, you got it within five minutes? We live in a desert. Yeah, we are in the Sahara and you have the nerve to offer me Long John Silvers. Where is We're that of sea Nevada. coming from? That's bullshit. Like, how are they open? Like, that's a perfect, how? How? Literally how? Who is Logistically, keeping that place alive? Logistically. Unless, like, there's one employee and he's the damn manager, the delivery boy, the cook, the chef, the, the teller, the custodian. Unless there's one guy working at every Long John Silver's, how the hell are they open? A lot of people are going to argue with me about this one. Carl's Jr. It smells like bathroom. Yeah, who the hell is Carl? Like, where? Why is he? I've never eaten there, ever in my life. Not once have it intrigued me to go I there. I swear to God, I've only seen two, ever. It, I exactly. have only seen two of them. It, they shouldn't be around. None. 
Who's keeping these places alive to even have where one? Did this, who is? Where did this originate? Who's Carl Senior? That's what I'm saying. Who is? Thank you. Who's his pop? <laughs> Your shit sucks, Carl. Like it is ass. I've been to Carl's Junior one time. I walked in. It smelled like El Baño. It smelled fact, like potty the in there. The fact that Carl's Junior folds and sends coupons via Daily Mail tells you all you need to know. Like they're they are desperate. <laughs> You're on they your... are sending you paper coupons in your mail. You might as well say, "Give me free food." At yeah, this point. like we can't we can't sell this to anybody. What is a number one at Carl's Jr.? Couldn't tell you. Me neither. They absolutely suck. <laughs> couldn't tell you their fountain drink choices. I couldn't tell you. I what are they known for? Like I I always see Carl's Jr. Mm. Oh fuck! I always see Carl's Burger in like a like a Mario star with like eyes or something. Who like, is that's that? their mascot? <gasps> yeah. What, what is you, that? Was it? Did they partner with a game? Who the hell is Carl? What do you Your establishment? Here's the real test, okay. though. Which one would we go to if we had to go to one of those three right now? Arby's, Carl's, Long John's. I know my answer. Say it on the count of three. One, two, three. Carl's. Arby's. What the fuck? We just roasted Carl, and you're picking Carl's over Arby's. First of all, seafood makes me throw up. Yeah, no, Long John can burn. <laughs> like, I'm talking, take every everything about that establishment and throw it away. I'd rather perish than eat Long John Silver's. 100%. I would rather eat literally whole kernel sweet corn out of the can without <sighs> draining it before I eat Long John Silver's. The reason I'm not going Arby's is because Arby's reminds me of a foot. I can't. Something about it reminds me of feet. Like of like ER, like a, like a, like a minute clinic. <laughs> like medical. Like you have to get your stomach pumped. However, curly fries... Oh, so you've eaten there? The, yeah, I've had Oh Arby's. my god, you're a nasty boy. I mean, a beef I and cheddar is a solid... It's like a 6 out of 10. Holy shit. It's a six out of ten. Oh my god! It's just I don't like the consistency at all. Oh my god! Brush it's, your teeth. It's little. I mean, okay, but it's been years. But Dude, I'm saying disgusting. like the curly fries are gas. The sandwich is decent. You know what is a good slept on establishment? Oh, be careful. Schlotzky's. <laughs> Schlotzky's. Anything is gas. that's any fat. I can't eat from a place that starts with <laughs> like I can't. What well, is? Because you can't say it, so you can never go there. You get picked up in an Uber. Hey, where are we going? Uh, that place. We're going right here, dog. How would I? Wait, say what is it? I can't look back there. You're like, uh, Schlotzky's. Schlotzky's. We're going to get sandwich from Schlotzky's. <laughs> Dude, I can't eat cold sandwiches and make me gag. Ooh, Schlot Schlotzky's is fire. You like a sourdough bun? Oh, like fuck ham, no. like mustard, some black olives. Hell no. <laughs> you know why I'm, I have bad thing with cold sandwiches? Mm -hmm. I went to Subway. A woman put her hair extension in, in my foot long. A full hair extension. It had to. It had to be on purpose. She did that with malice in her heart. You can't make that mistake. It was, I saw the clip and everything. That bitch was long. It took up the whole foot long. There was a hair extension, including the clip in your sandwich. Yes. I swear to God. <laughs> did you see that at home or at the restaurant? At home. <laughs> at home. I rewrap sandwich. Get in car. Drive back to subway. I walk up to her. Very nice. Very approachable. Hey, did you make this sandwich? Room? Yeah, of course. I saw you twenty minutes ago. Cool. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> I would rock her shit with that sandwich. There's no way on earth. There's a full, like that's not accidental. It can be. For you to land a 12 inch object on a 12 inch sandwich perfectly, like that, there, that there's no, there's no like, like probability, like oops, it fell out. No chance. You absolutely laid it you on. You went me. like this and said, fuck his sandwich. But <laughs> Literally. But I'm more concerned with the fact that they have glass panes and you didn't see it. What were you doing? I don't, I was a boy, so I was probably playing with my Probably, t hey, calm down, buddy. Hey, relax. <laughs> We're here at Subway. Get your weird ass out of here. I think it's time for people's favorite segment. You know what that is? Pop culture, Peyton and Kim. Pop culture, Peyton and Kim. Woo! Pop culture. Let's just do NBA. Just NBA? No, we got to give them something. I'll okay. go with the NBA route. Okay. You go. So There's literally <laughs> sediment. There's floating germs and sediment and bugs here. We got to get that under control. Hey, P.O. Box, send like pest control <laughs> stuff. Help us out. All right. My thing, you already know. Basically, you're going to get this from me until about early June. It's the NBA playoffs. LeBron James, okay, my favorite player of all time, the greatest player of all time, he's down 2-0. He's down 2-0 to the Denver Nuggets. Nikola Jokic is playing out of his mind. They're playing unbelievable team basketball as well. Lakers lost the first game by six, second game by five. AD, I need you to show up more. I'm going to just give you a quick little update on that. Uh, Rui Hachimura, you're going to get paid, my brother. You are playing absolutely fantastic and... Love you as an addition to the team. Uh, Braun did not play the best. Second game. I, that's one thing. One thing I hate about Michael Jordan fans. Stands, I should say. Like, it's like your daily purpose is to talk down on LeBron. I'm a LeBron stan, and I don't talk about MJ. I still appreciate and respect MJ. I simply think LeBron's better. MJ stands, their every waking breath is to diminish LeBron James. 
and it's so annoying. That's true. It's so annoying. Yeah. Like, you and me, if, if we talk to an MJ fan, and we're like, bro, LeBron's better. Yeah. We would immediately say what LeBron is better at. Mm -hmm. They immediately say what LeBron sucks at. Mm -hmm. We don't talk about their guy. They we go talk straight, about our guy. Yeah, because they know a defend, like, defending argument for MJ is not that strong. Yeah. It's just not. Just championships. If he played six years, if he came in in six-year span, went to six, won six, and dipped, go. Yeah. Absolute. He played 15. No. Nope. Left twice. Okay. Didn't do anything before Scottie Pippen. Literally nothing. Playoff record before Scottie Pippen, one and nine. One and nine. Talk your shit. Like, get it off, Cam. NBA, last thing, then you can go. No, you're good. NBA is the only sport where you get penalized for going all the way rather yeah. than not going at all. Yeah. Only sport. Yeah, that is bullshit. You go to the NFL, you, if you even go to the Super Bowl, hell yeah, they went to the Super Bowl. Yeah. They made it. NHL, hell yeah, they were in the Stanley Cup. Yeah. NASCAR, if you finish second, dude, that guy's real good. Yeah. Baseball, you go to the World Series, hey, they're a hell of a team. And I, I, I swear to God, I, I think it's only for LeBron James. Oh, for sure. It's the, this the entire goal definitely narrative it. Yeah. is only for LeBron. Yeah, for How sure. How the hell is going to the finals and losing not at a higher standard than not even making the playoffs? Yeah. Explain that to me. How the hell is being in a contest and coming in second? Anything. How the hell is being in the national spelling bee of the top 30 spellers and you finish second better than not making it to the final rounds? I agree. How is getting paid the second highest in your job not better than getting paid what everyone else does? And let's keep this in an open discussion for all the Jordan fans that hate LeBron because there's a lot of me in the comments section. I, I, will give a, I, will give a, I will literally give a PowerPoint presentation of LeBron versus Mike let's do it in as the, a Patreon video. Patreon, there you go. As a Patreon video. Patreon's in the, in the link in the description below. I love, I love it, Cam. That's a great one. I'm very passionate about it. Probably I, a little too passionate, but... I'll be quick. The, uh, I'll, I'll go movies. Upcoming okay. movies, and I'll see if you're excited Ooh. for them. <gasps> I am. First one is this one I'm really excited for just because of the people. Dude, if you say the one I think you're going to say, I'm going to be really hurt because I think it looks ass. Killers of the Flower Moon? What the hell is that? What is Killers of the Flower Moon? <gasps> it's a Martin Scorsese film with Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, oh, yeah. okay, okay. okay. I it looks absolutely it. fire. It looks, it looks legit. I've, uh, <laughs> that name... Kind of pissed me off. I it sounded weird. It sounded like folktale, like weird. I think the one I know you're gonna say, the, the one that looks like it's gonna suck. What? White boy, white man can't jump too, or the remake. I already know that's gonna suck. Uh, which one are you gonna say? The Justice League one. Dude, that's gonna or be the Flash. Phenomenal. The I think that's gonna suck. Cam, I've already heard it's they one of the best. They literally have a sixty-year-old Batman with the OG. Not just him. With the OG nasty colors. Or he's gonna be in for like, uh, like some, like probably the in fight sequence, and then like a big cameo at the beginning. And I, I, I don't think that's gonna be good. This is I exactly think, what's gonna happen. He's I gonna make a flash appearance. will be good in the movie, but I'm saying. But it, fuck Ezra Miller, but. Yeah, but I think like I, don't, I just don't, I don't know. I'm not sold, like at all. I heard it's fantastic. They're trying to be Marvel. I heard they it's one trying, of the best DC movies that's ever been made. Bro, that's what they said about the last three. Batman vs Superman sucked ass. Sucked ass. Sucked ass. Yeah. like horrible. They haven't. They don't make good movies. They make great horrible. comics, but they have bad movies. It was very bad. Do you think it's Christian because, Bale? You think it's because the sexiest, best Batman there will ever be? Okay. Okay. Ben Affleck literally looked like Ben Affleck wearing a Batman, Batman costume. Suit. Yeah. It was so bad. But I think go. it's because the Dark Knight. You they set it so high with the Dark Knight. It's impossible to come back. From it that. is. That's like arguably the greatest, one of the greatest films ever. Yeah. And Marvel had such a good plan. Dude, they're genius. With their phase one. Genius. Or phase two, whatever just that think, was. Just think about this. The first Avengers movie, Thanos was teased. Yeah. Just think, let that sink in. That's why it was so good, though. It's because they had this planned out for so long. They, like, a, a literal, think about a de think about if we had a decade of, of podcasts planned. A decade. Yeah. And then we distribute it and get it down to a T. Yeah. Like, Marvel is impressive but as hell. But this is where they f messed up at. This new phase of movies is not good. Guardians of the Galaxy is good. You're tripping. These other movies, the shows have been shit. Multiverse of Madness was solid. That's the part I don't like. That's the part Dude, I don't like. Because, because they're, they're Disney doing got the involved. Show. Yes, that's the part I don't like. Disney got if involved. it was strictly movies, you know everything would be fire. Yes. But the fact they're spinning shit off into shows, like, bro, what if someone doesn't, doesn't even have Disney Plus? Yeah, exactly. literally you. And so when you go to a movie, you're you like... You go into I'm, a movie, WandaVision is, like, up to date in that movie. Yeah. Loki's up to date in that movie. Yeah. Moon Knight's up to date in that movie. The Eternals is up. It's like, yo, that's that's literally, I just said like 60 hours of stuff. You have, you have to, to be watch. such a Marvel head or like that's your job to be L that literally, caught up. You have up. to have hella free time. Yeah, it's like, like, I can't watch all that shit. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But, but good pop culture.
Good pop culture. That was pop, pop culture. culture. Peyton, Peyton in camp. camp. Dun, dun, dun. Pop, pop culture with Peyton, Peyton in camp. camp. Dun, dun, dun. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming back to this episode of the You Should Know podcast. Shh. Don't do that to me. Thank you so much for coming back to episode 61. Again, recap on the beginning. Your boy is full time now at the podcast. Woo! We absolutely love you. We're going to have an amazing amount of content, new ideas, all sorts of stuff just flooded your way. If you want to see the crazy behind the scenes stuff, the exclusive videos where your voice is truly, truly heard and we take everything you say into consideration and make videos about what you tell us what to do because you, because you control us, Patreon. Link is in the bio. Koala Club is already popping. There's hundreds of you in there. Uh, they have their own little dope little community in there. You get in the Discord server, all that stuff. It's unbelievable. Everything you need to know, link in the bio. Summer merch. Coming soon, baby. Very, very soon. It's going to be some fire, fire drops. I cannot wait to see y'all post the pictures and just be living your life, getting your little golden, little tan skin on in the summer merch drop. Now that Cam's full-time, will be, it'll really be good. Now that Cam's full-time, I'm going to cut his hair off when he sleeps. No more of that. I'll kill That's you. That's literally a Brillo you. pad. That's a Brillo pad. All right. We absolutely love y'all. Any questions you need to know, link in the comments, or link in the bio. Oh, not what I said. Link in the bio below. Yeah. This week's Confuse the Casuals Get Your Good Karma code is going to be GVG. And I need to see comments on this one, too. I know it's how it much is. of a dumbass this is. Gorilla versus giraffe? Gorilla versus giraffe. Somebody's going to agree with me. You're an, and they're an idiot as well. But e I love you. Extended episode. I love you, idiot. On the Patreon this week. Extended episode. Patreon's going to be right popping. Now. Wait, is it out right now? The extended clip? Maybe. Probably. Yeah. Hope so. Did it get lighter outside? I thought it was dark outside. I thought it was like nighttime. Yeah, it's a really weird transition <laughs> going on. But I felt, I felt we love y'all. Catch you back next week. Everything you need to know, link in the description. One out of ten claw bears. I'm making home to Christmas, and we will see you next up. Shout out to Colos Cam. We full time, baby. Yeah.